Hi. So today, uh, quickly, I, I started a life of Warren Buffett. I was reading tons of books. Uh, I talked to him uh, several years ago at the shareholder meeting. I talked to his partner, Charlie Munger, and I, I was reading books about uh, Bill Gates a lot. I was reading about um, other people like our um, Steve Jobs from Apple. And so I, I put some uh, 16 tips together, how to live your life. And uh, it sounds a little psychologically like a little uh, strange, but I, I put those tips together because it's not just about making money. It's uh, how to live your life. And I think what what is important for those people and we can a little bit at least try, we should try to copy them. And it's so easy. So. 16 tips. The first one is when, when you look at Warren Buffett, he once mentioned it, uh, you need idols. Pick some idols, great idols for your life to people you can look up. Once you have them, it will change your life completely. Uh, he had uh, Benjamin, uh, um, his uh, 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 professor, Benjamin Graham, and um, this was his motivator, this was one of his idols, and it, uh, he said it changed your life. So secondly, a second uh, tip I have for you, money was never a motivator. I think never for Steve Jobs, never for a musician like John Lennon, never for... I wouldn't even say never for Donald Trump. He wanted to build buildings and move some stuff. Uh, Warren Buffett said his first job he took on Wall Street, he told his professor Benjamin Graham, he said, I love that work. I I like what you do. I'm impressed. I'm fascinated. I would like to you for nothing. I don't need any payment. I work for technically he said I work for free, and the professor accepted it. Later on, he paid him a salary, but he Buffett never asked for it. Right now, he makes a hundred thousand dollar a year salary. Even he uh, is one of the best investors in the world. He does not need more, he does not want more, he just takes $100,000. You should ask your fund manager how much he or she makes, you will be surprised. So, uh, third, um, uh, well, I think what for Warren Buffett and a lot of others we can look up to uh, make different. They, Warren Buffett would never negotiate. If he buys a, a family business, if they ask a fair deal, a fair price, I think Warren Buffett would, he said, never negotiate the price. He rather wants to have happy people, a, happy, a great deal for them and for him. And he wants to have them on board and as partners. And uh, he wouldn't go to negotiate a million. It doesn't matter to him. The most important thing is to have motivated and a happy seller and to have them on board as a partner. And that's what all counts. Fourth, be honest. I think they all try to be honest and they don't try to rip off a client or a partner. Their main goal is they have a dream. They have a, uh, they, they want to change something in the world. They have a solution and that's what they work on. Their goal is not to maximize quickly money and uh, ripping some people off. That's not, that's not what they shoot for. They Warren Buffett wants to have happy, satisfied employees and shareholders. That's his main goal. Fifth, they Warren Buffett, for example, lives below his means. Uh, he he uh, drives an old car. John Lennon had his bed on the floor. He didn't really care about it. even he had all this money and uh, he, uh, together with your co-owner uh, Steve Jobs, he. Um, Steve Jobs lived uh, also very poorly. Uh, I I was reading he had no furniture, nothing in his uh, in his apartment. He had uh, a nice lamp and the mattress on the floor. They are driven by their jobs, by their dreams, and uh, not by things. They 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 really don't get excited about things, even. Even so, uh, what I have to mention is that um, Steve Jobs built a, a yacht, but look, 
before he died. It it wasn't finished, but still. But Ron Buffett never get, got uh, gets excited about luxury things. He just wants to live an easy, regular lifestyle. And um, um, the fifth thing is what I said: live below your means. The six six thing all put some money on the side, all save up, all all of them or most of them um, don't uh, live a luxury lifestyle, they avoid debt and credits and loans, they don't usually use credit cards. Seventh, they invest long term, if they build something up they want to keep the stocks for the long run. Their heart is involved in, uh, into those things, they really get excited. Uh, Steve Jobs uh, threw a deal, he got Walt Disney stocks, I think, as long as I know. He never sold his uh, position in Walt Disney and uh, they know that uh, those businesses uh, benefit from the um, long-term holding periods, from the interest, from the compounded interest, from dividends. They also want to avoid taxes, avoid taxes. The more they trade, the more transaction costs they have in taxes. Eighth a step you should consider is if somebody wants to sell your product, Ron Buffett always says, think how much they make when they sell you that thing, the product. And if you understand it, it's good, it's better for you. Ninth, uh, be surrounded by the right people in your life. They always are very picky and choosy and um, they say excellent characters you can learn from and you should copy them. Tenth, read, read, read. They all read a lot. They love books, they love magazines, they read newspapers, they are well educated. And they, they, they read business reports, quarterly reports. They go online, they also would watch a video. 11th, um, they work like heck, just invest a lot of time in their work, they love it, they love to go there. 12th, they um, usually are good um, in talking, they, uh, Warren Buffett said he had a lot of anxieties uh, in talking and he went and learned to talk, to, to speak in front of a group and it was very helpful for his life, he would recommend that also everybody. 12th was to talk, 13th is just be be a good person, trust in others, most people are nice people, you have intuition that tells you 99.9 are not enemies, 14th trust people, 15th take care of your family, family is I think for most of them very important and they value them and they help them. Uh, money is not, if family members ask for mon money, Ryan Buffett gets cautious on this. I have to say in regards to money he's not helpful. Anything else I think he would try whatever he can to help a family member. He always admired his parents and uh, that counts for them. 16th, they donate for great things. Bill Gates donated almost all, he wants to donate all his wealth he has with uh, Melinda Gates. That's great. Ron Buffett is doing the same. And uh, I think Steve Jobs, unfortunately, he died too early. He would have done the same too. And a lot of successful people donate a lot and they, have a, they are part of the giving pledge, what Ron Buffett decided to set up and people are helping each other and giving back to society. I think that's uh, also very important for the regular guys. And uh, these uh, were my 16 tips and um, one more thing is they are, uh, uh, Steve Jobs says, the very th important thing I think is, he says, don't be worried. Duh. Don't be nervous, be very optimistic, contact those people. If you have a dream, you have to, to do it. Don't be shy. He called when he was 16, one of the founders of Hewlett Packard, and talked to them and said, I want to do this or that, can you please help me? And they said, sure, we're going to help you. We're 16 years old. He said, don't be afraid. If you have a dream, if you have, 
if 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 you have an idol, you just should shoot for it. If your heart is involved and you're motivated, it will probably, I think, uh, it will work out very well. And if not, it's not a disaster. Okay, these are my 16 ideas out of the life of people like uh, Steve Jobs, Warren Buffett and Bill Gates. Okay, I hope you are very successful. Pick your idol and be happy. Bye.